We are the Bennett family, mom, dad, four kids, and a trail dog exploring National Scenic Trails. No B-roll, just raw footage and narration of our adventures. Hey, it's Amazon, and this is my family's experience in the Wind River Range. So we started off thinking there would be some trail maintenance on this alternate, the Cirque of the Towers alternate, and it ended up being a lot of blowdowns. But we have heard that we got the easy end of the stick because if you went on the actual trail, it was a whole lot worse. So we just had to go over maybe five miles of blowdowns, five to ten miles, and then we ended up at the Little Sandy Lake. And it was gorgeous, and that's where we had lunch. And then we moved on and kept going and ended up camping at Big Sandy Lake. It was a lot of beautiful peaks and rocks and very little trail. That, I mean, you can see how small the trail is on here. And sometimes the trail would just disappear and you'd kind of be going, trying to not go towards any vegetation and trying to stay where the trail on your phone is telling you. And we ended up at um, Temple Peak and the and the lake next to it and that was absolutely amazing and then we had to climb up temple peak right next to it to get over that pass and that is that experience right there us climbing up of it a lot of just trying to find the best path up because there wasn't an official trail and once we got over you could see so many big lakes down there and just huge um, rock formations on the sides and the flowers were amazing and all different colors and we followed a stream down and yep here are the lakes and we joked that it was the place where dragons live because it was absolutely incredible and saw some wildlife like that marmot back there and then this is the lake we ended up camping at which was big sandy lake and it was the most amount of people that we have slept next to they had like a youth camp out there and it was pretty smoky that night too you can see you've got some haze still from all the fires that were happening this summer and this is another pass that we had to climb over this one actually had a pretty good trail so it was it was kind of nice and then it was just a lot of you kind of went flat for a while when you were down where the lakes were and then you would go up another pass and here was jackass pass which my siblings and i love saying just over and over again because we wouldn't get in trouble for saying it because it was an actual name of a pass but yeah that one wasn't as hard as the next pass was and that one was a very big steep up and steep down and that pay that pass that we went over was Texas Pass. And the reflection off the lakes on some of these places were, it was just like a mirror looking down and it was crazy. And a lot of, I think this is a clip from Texas Pass going up and this was at the bottom of Texas Pass. My brother jumping in, that looked like it hurt. And that water, was so cold it was a muscle clenching cold where you're like I don't know if I'll make it to the shore it's so cold and but it was totally worth it we believe that swimming in cold lakes adds years to your life we'll see in the end if it actually does and we went through a lot of flat meadows like that and it kind of reminded you of you were like in Scotland or Ireland Here's some fun facts that I learned from the visitpinedale.org about the Wind River Range. Um, the Wind Rivers contain more than 40 named peaks over 13,000 feet, including Gannett Peak, Wyoming's highest, at 13,804 feet. Seven of the largest glaciers in the Rocky Mountains are found here, including the single largest glacier in the American Rockies. There are over 1,300 named lakes in the Wind River Range, and the headwaters of the Green River can be found here. The Continental Divide crests the Wind River Range's entire length.
This ended up being one of my favorite sections of trail on the entire Continental Divide. It was a lot of ups and downs and the beginning was a little hard with not having a lot of trail and it being a lot of blowdowns, but it ended up being very well maintained throughout the rest of the journey and there were a few river crossings, but none of them that went over our knees, which is always nice and it was just a wonderful experience. So we've stopped so three out of six of us could have a potty break and there's some sounds coming from the trees over there. Definitely a horse. Or maybe a dragon. And then there was also a weird sound. It wasn't Yeah that. What's that? A dragon!